Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Mark the Movie Man here, and I will be bringing you all the footage and coverage and interviews that I did for the Madison Horror Film Festival. Look for that footage in the next week. Uh, I'm putting it all together. I got a lot of stuff I shot. It was a lot of fun. But before that, I decided to bring you a review of a film I've been meaning to see for a while and bring to you, and that's Iron Sky. Yes, Iron Sky. Basically, the story is Nazis left the planet near the end of World War II to develop, uh, to build a society on the dark side of the moon in their moon base, their super huge swastika shaped moon base where they could build their Aryan nation and develop the technology needed to come back to Earth to take over the planet and make it an Aryan world, okay? But while on a moon mission, when an astronaut named James Washington, played beautifully by Christopher Kirby, comes across the space Nazis, their plan has to be put into action a lot quicker and we see uh, just, uh, just crazy uh, events and unfold from there. Now, Iron Sky, I thought from the trailers, would be more to the extreme that FDR American Badass was, but it's not. This is more of a, a, a not a serious film, it is a lighter comical film that takes a, a, a look at a lot of different situations, but it's satire. This is more like a Mel Brooks film, his earlier films that had very humorous uh, moments in it, but not, you know, treading that fine line of not too ridiculous, just enough to make you laugh and realize it's a lighter film, but not too over the top to where you're just going, man, this film is completely nuts, okay? They tread a very fine decent line. I mean, there's some honesty to this film that you just gotta love, okay? They're making a, a, a regular film. This isn't just some cheesy uh, hook that they're going, oh, you know, Iron Space Nazis. No, they're using this film to bring some satire and some commentary on the state of politics, which is a popular subject, as we know, especially with the recent election. So that surprised me. It wasn't as over the top as I thought it would be, but yet it was enough to keep it light and humorous, yet bring to uh, uh, light some messages that they want to get across or some statements about not only uh, politics, but some American pop culture as well. It was made by a group of international production companies and talented folks. You have uh, Julia Dietz, uh, Goetz Otto in here, both from the German uh, cinema playing uh, Nazis, and so they get to use authentic German, which just helped sell these characters and the idea over. Udo Kerr also rounds it out as the old Fuhrer ruling the Aryan nation on the dark side of the moon, and I loved his performance as well. Everybody does so well. Even a newcomer, Stephanie Paul, who plays a Sarah Palin-esque U.S. President loved her performance and her character. There is a lot of satire and uh, lighter moments in this film and things are just going, oh my God, but they're, they, it doesn't get too part to where it's too goofy. It treads a fine line. And steampunk lovers out there, this film is for you. There's a huge amount of steampunk technology in here, which just added to the overall just coolness and unique uh, visions, the uh, visuals that you get out of Iron Sky. I love the production of it, the 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 look of it, the score was fantastic, and the special effects were phenomenal for a film of this nature. There are many light moments, and there are many calm moments, and all in all, it makes for a nice satirical package, which I'm sure you will enjoy, okay? I gave it three and a half stubs for Iron Sky, definitely worth your time for the rental or video on demand. You will enjoy it, and I think it'll have you maybe looking for the skies wondering, gee, maybe the Nazis will be coming back. Let's hope not. But, you know, it's just, it's one of those films that I think you really got to see and I, you will enjoy, especially if you enjoy satire or early Mel Brooks humorous films. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that ticket stuck.